yeah. My favorite memory at the ring. Yeah. Oh my God. Not getting someone pregnant, no, that's not. Okay, we're going <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, mate. <laughs> Us, yeah, we are. We're, we're RD Garage, so uh, <laughs> the series is um, about the, the group of people, the individuals involved with um, RD Garage, Ratdog Garage, um, and their build threads and ongoing um, car shenanigans over winter to try and achieve um, some lap times around the Nurburgring next year. We're real men, and we go on the Nurburgring, and uh, we drive on TF, also known as Tourist and Farted, uh, uninsured, and we gap the fuck out of everyone that's usually there, including the um, rich Scottish boys, uh, Johnny and Nick, who have all of a sudden appeared on the scene and think they can box. I don't, do we have roles? I don't, it's, it's, not, it's not like a gay thing, but you know, there's I'm the brand ambassador. Um, the role I play, Captain Dickhead, I suppose. Finger snap. <laughs> Who am I? How are we doing this? Okay, start again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm Mitch Lainsley. Mitch from the internet. Whatever you want to call it. Can you stop the no. f sake? I've got this f head filming me off camera and it's putting me off like a mother. F no, do you know what? This is not cool. I was totally cool when you did it. You can f yourself. You're whack as well. Alright, it's cat and shot, yeah. Yeah, 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 sweet, sweet. So I'm Mitch Lainsley. Generally been going to the Nurburgring for like eight years or something. And then I met these idiots like a few years ago and just bonded. So I drive an E46 M3 badly. Normally, sideways normally, on the grass, however, <laughs> it somehow goes fast, I don't really know how, um, but it needs a lot of work doing to it, so I'm bringing it to this shed, and then we're going to tear apart my shed, it's going to be good. I have no skill at all when it comes to working on cars, like driving, yeah, but turning spanners is a big no-no, so just take a load of weight out and make it faster basically, put some aero on it, and just more power less weight and then we're going for some mad sub 720 in 2020 obs <laughs> what's going on right now uh, oh i fish a bit <laughs> this guy and i'm the fat boy what Fuck. yeah <laughs> oh shit where did that come from <laughs> you've got enough footage this is enough stuff footage worse yeah, yeah yeah if your camera can go away operation so you wouldn't have known you're all right driving. what do you want the funniest bit was the heel and toe down into first. A savage mismatch between engine speed and road speed. It was not. Oh, was that? Yeah, oh, was not John. The firewall's too heavy. It's just like. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> How am I getting more of a blitz? Uh, I'm Ollie. I drive the C220 just back there. I think the ring uh, is a really good place to go, if, even if you just don't drive it. If you're into cars, there's loads of cars in TF Car Park, just to look around and talk to different people. Best memories? Um, just hanging out with you guys, really. Uh, the banter, the food, the cars, obviously the track. Yes, there was once a member of the group uh, was driving another member's car. I think we hit SK about 170. It got a bit hairy. Let's, let's just keep it there. We just, it just got a bit hairy. That was the only time I've been scared around the ring. It was, uh, it was bad. <laughs> John was driving uh, Jake's Audi RS7 for up. So yeah, it got a bit of air at 170, I think it was. Window popped out. Next thing you know, we just proper sideways and it was yeah it was it was bad it was bad <laughs> let's go see this club sport let's, let's go and see this so we've this is got, a new donkey we've got the, the door handle <laughs> this could do with the race <laughs> break you know um 
the tank, mate. You could definitely do with a respawn. Definitely do with the respawn. Steering around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steering around. I need to get, to be fair, it hasn't got purple. Does it work now? Does it open? Yeah, open. She's just like tidy. Tidy. I like the sunroof. That is the coolest thing about 330. Viscous fan in the bin. Yeah. Although, you, and oh. it's still got the rubber cap on yeah, the end. Yeah, it's got everything. It's all xenons. It's got the uh, super spec pedals as well. I like it. It's nice. <laughs> Just horrendous. Shit, it says it's low on fluid now. It says it's low on coolant. coolant. <laughs> What's that knock from the front? I don't know. Can the, you feel it? Something is so off on this car. I am Ed, Nuno's brother, if anyone's wondering. Uh, we look very much alike. That was my phone. <laughs> I got a 330i Club Sport, um, and that will be my track car or project car over winter. I do mainly electric stuff, that's sort of my forte, shall we call it. I also do some mechanical work and just in general uh, other bits and bobs. I'm the angry guy. Um, so I go from 0 to 100 very quickly, got a very short temper. Yeah, so Ardy Garage, what, what are we going to do? I think the attempt is to uh, record what we do with our cars. Um, you know, in general have a bit of banter, lots of barbecues as I'm sure, I mean, pro weather providing that is of course. Uh, lots of barbecues, lots of cars, lots of banter, probably a lot of fuck ups uh, because it's us and that's what we do best. Oh, and uh, one thing you guys will get to see, a lot of arguments between me and Nuno, uh, which happen most of the time off camera, but the likelihood is they'll be caught on camera this time round. The, cl the clutches on the DCT, they're inside the gearbox. They're the first thing inside. Inside the actual housing, they're inside there. You're saying that the clutches are inside the gearbox, the box with the gears. No, not the part with the gears, the part in front of the part with the gears. But the, the bell housing. No, no, the bell housing is in front of that. No, no, the bell housing no, is no. around. No, it's in front of that. You are one stone motherfucker after seeing the diagram, you I'm still don't have Take it apart. No, you haven't. I have. The plate comes apart. Okay. I've removed it. And have I... you removed the plate? Um, mostly about nothing. Um, and it goes on for about five minutes and we end up where we started at the beginning anyway. Um, but they happen. How tall are you? I don't know, five, six, five, seven, I guess. I really don't know. I don't. I would say that um, I am the perfect passenger, both in height and weight. Um, I don't obstruct the view for most drivers, and, uh, and my weight perfectly counters, especially in an E46 where the engine's tilted the other. Getting in. Uh, Heathrow Airport, please. Oh, we're on. Hang on. Uh, I'm just taking my teeth out so I can speak properly. My name's Jake. Uh, part of the gang, part of the RD group. Not one of the early members, but introduced, started the game with an Evo 4. Upgraded to Evo 8, which I still got. And then uh, started playing with big boy BMWs in it. <laughs> my role in the RD garage usually is fixing people's exhausts cutting back boxes and that's it even though i'm a like super professional third in the world welder um all i get is exhaust or can you weld my wheel on my passat because i cracked it <laughs> content what's your favorite body part of me or of a car favorite body part of me has got to be my ass the shelf the curvature. Uh, got a RS7, 700-ish horsepower, sub-8 mobile around the ring, and co-owner of an E92 M3. Plans for 2020 car-wise. E92 needs a good strip down and a good build back up because there's an incompetent gap. Um, what's your um, views on um, the RS4? Who? You? <laughs> Chasing times. 
times will come. I'm not one of like these. I don't go for times. I just enjoy the banter with the boys. If I can run a 740-ish, 7.30 in the year 92, I'll be happy. As long as I can keep up. It's not, it's not chasing times though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 100%. Because you've not lengthened the car and you've not got a stupid spoiler on it and you've not made the car wider. But no, you're not getting on TF. <laughs> 10 J Mitch, yeah. Offers packs laps to everyone but me. Have you never had a lap on you? Nope, never done a lap. <laughs> but is that a pack slack? Being strapped up, getting to their gate and going, no, 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 no. Yeah, I did. P1 VLN. You know, had it competed in VLN, uh, had it come first. <laughs> so it might as well have said like F1 P1. Maybe. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Or sub eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Pete. You little bitch. It hasn't been coming out. <laughs> Alright, now I feel how much it's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, do you want to say that again for the camera? <laughs> is, it, is it spinning? Dickhead. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> I have no skill at all when it comes to working on cars. My name is Jeff. Um, no, I'm John. Normally be behind the camera most times. Not many laps, but 20 laps now. I've done 20 laps. I've done 20 laps. My role would be camera guy, post-production, pictures. So everything you see will probably be me. I don't, I don't like helping on people's cars. Everyone can build their own shit. Whoa. But yeah, no, now I'm going to be working in the workshop a little bit more. I'm going to get my car done. I'll try and be in front of the camera more and as much as I can. I drive BMW. 46 330i haven't had it for too long yeah it's, it's all right won't probably won't go too crazy full cage seat harnesses suspension upright brake pads no it's not that crazy but yeah i've i've had a moment at belloff oh actually it was it was belloff yeah. <laughs> i was being chased by an e46 on slicks which i didn't know at the time <laughs> i just kind of sped up i didn't really want him to overtake um and i didn't realize that the 808 R's were like completely gone up and uh, I was heading towards the Armco pretty quickly <laughs> and I just had to lift and try and rotate the car a little bit. No! <laughs> so yeah, um, I am a race driver. <laughs> I did an odds test, uh, got my racing license about a couple of years ago. I did a couple races with uh, a, a garage I used to work for a long, long time ago when I was at college, um, racing a smart car and brick in brick car. I came second my first race, first in my second race, and it was all right. It was, it was quite a good experience. Plan for 2020 is get all these 330s up to spec, have a bit of fun, train. Our focus isn't lap times because we're pretty pretty inexperienced compared to these guys like Nuno and Mitch. But yeah, the main focus is having a bit of fun.
Oh! <laughs> <laughs>